them on i'll leave a link to the playlist in the description it's only seven or eight episodes i think it's seven but i might be wrong but anyway this is the finances which literally tells you nothing except our current balance which is about three million pound less than our transfer budget but as you can see we've spent two million apparently and we've got one of the best transfer business i've ever done on football manager and that's not using that lightly in fairness our wage budget is about half a million which is stupidly high for a french league cut lub but projection looks all right end of this season we're going to be on 330k apparently and then we're going to go to minus 200 and minus 300k and then we're going to go up to 2.4 million 2.1 million which is a little bit weird um yeah nothing really to see there but anyway let's go on to the transfers i released four players they're pretty terrible to be honest you can probably say that by the fact that none of them are fan of club he has but what do you get that in yeah two two would leagues below the fact that we've released four players and three of them haven't found a club probably says a lot for how bad they are and now to the transfers gonna do the ones on the way out you'll probably see some players on the way there that you probably haven't seen why I'm so excited first one on the way out was Yaya Sanogu he literally got injured and he's even injured now that says a lot just didn't need him off the wage budget even Wolves wanted to pay 475k for him I was like I'll absolutely bite your hand off after that was Steve Yago right back apparently didn't even know it was a right back I thought it was a left back but anyway we brought in a, a right back and I think he's a bit better to be honest <laughs> we've actually bought it it bought him from a Saint Etienne so if a swap there one million with our right back game on a free just realize you can't even see him there after that was Andy Delore he was on 30k a week he's on 30k a week at nonce I'm just not giving him that money after that was a left back is Sia literally just moaned the whole game well, the whole of last season played nine appearances in fairness he's played more played like most more percentage of this season anyway I don't know what was going with that backup keeper to Rio Ave Mark Vidal the third choice keeper for some reason Montpellier actually paid money for him as soon as he's about to star these were just youngsters Quentin Jean was a striker that went on loan in fairness he's a decent player to be honest but didn't even score that many get in fairness one and two but that's the league below I played him in two games he's played a 6.65 and I was like not my type of player to be honest a couple of more players and we banjo our starting left back but it's 54 on the scouting was decent last season played 24 games but didn't really set the world alight and with the left backs we've got this season i thought i just kind of had to get rid of him two players going on on loan and then just a backup defensive midfielder that i didn't play <laughs> yeah i played three games and then sent him out on loan where he did worse to be honest but anyway let's get into what you're all here for just before that this is the best bit i like we've done our probably best transfer window ever and we've still made a profit firstly was Firmin Mubele you're thinking we had him last season and yeah we did got him from a loan to a permanent deal 1.2 million absolute steal he was so good last season at 7.04 I mean what can you say anymore <laughs> you probably won't even play that much to be honest this season especially if we move away from wingers because we've got about nine strikers that can play up front um, after that 
just cheap PDL, 245k, he's worth 2.7 mil, he's 3 star current ability, better than any striker we had at the time when we bought him, I mean, decent backup striker, decent first touch, all the stats what you like, worst case scenario if we don't play him or he doesn't want to be at the club at the end of his contract, which is about 3-4 years, then we can sell him worth just under three million pound. After that was Aaron Gunnarsson. We needed a central midfielder, and after having a pretty decent season at Cardiff, getting a seven point oh one, I mean, he's perfect for it. Worth five point five million as well. And we got him on a free. And just look at some of these stats. He even got the Icelandic seventeen long throw in. You just can't be Icelandic without a decent long throw stat. Free from PSG, just a little midfielder, got a bit of potential and worth 1.3 million. Why not? Adam Mayer was a attacking midfielder before he got all the strikers and a couple of other players. I thought I was going to play uh, advanced playmaker or Trocotista as he's better suited to. Decent little player, he's on a bit of a wage. Got a 7.04 last season, so gonna have to give him some games or ship him off quite quickly because that 25k wage budget is gonna put a burning hole in our pocket. After that was Miku. This guy was 30k. I mean, he is 32 and probably on more wage than many players at 32 in this club. In fairness, I do get rid of anyone over 32 because they're usually not this good, but for 30k. When he's worth just under a million, he's probably going to decline. His natural fitness is quite good, so he shouldn't decline too much. After that, loaned in James Wilson. We're only paying under 9k a week. Three star kind of ability, 15 finishing, 14 composure. We just needed goals. Our top scorer last season was Toivonen. As you can see by the team sheet when I show you it, he's not even on the bench. I think James Wilson's only on the bench as well. Patrick Catrone, I've been watching Mazala's streams, saw him come up and had a little scout, four star current ability, and when 14 finishing, 14 composure. When a player, when you're lacking goals and a four star player comes up for an 8k a week loan, I mean, we've got to play 16 if we don't play him, but a four star ability, who's not going to play him? Not me, I'll tell you that now. We was going to use Ruben Vanagre as a left back. It's better suited to a winger, but it's probably not great to be honest. Decent player, backup left back. It's only on 5k a week to be honest. Decent potential as well. Probably not as best as some of the players like Marvin Humber, youngster from the Golden Generation. This guy was signed by my uh, head of youth development. Don't even know why. Javi Jimenez, just backup keeper, to get this guy in a free, four million, three and a half star current ability and potential, just tutoring our youngster keeper, and shouldn't be uh, too bad. I think this, yeah, this is the other guy who signed my by youth development. I don't, the signing young place for the future, this guy's not even going to make the reserves, mate. Um, Terence Congolo, we needed a centre back, we had pretty bad defensive problems towards the end of the season. Three star kind of being four and a half star potential and one for three and a half million, especially when Monaco bid just over thirteen two seasons ago. But looks like that loaner had a field didn't do him the water good. Gonzalo Canero, I mean four star kind of ability, four and a half star potential. He's twenty two. Let's get this guy on a free. And he could be an absolute world beater. Is pretty well, pretty exciting. After that, right back, he's 33, but he's still Machi Jibushi. He's had a couple of seasons at Arsenal. Spent most of his career in the French league, though. After transferring from Lost Lille to Newcastle, and having a loan at Bordeaux. How did he play nine appearances when he played? I mean, sure. Better left back than Amien. We still do have him at the club, but I don't think he's going to play that many games. And the last one is probably the one I'm most excited about being a Man United fan. Luke Shaw, who has been 
a bit under the cosh lately. Should hasn't had the best season on here to be honest. Only played ten games at Benfica, which is quite surprising to be honest. But anyway, that is the transfer this this season. I would play a game, but I've also been rambling on for way too long. So I'll play that game next episode. This is the formation that we're going to use. We have 4 2 2 2. Yep, I don't have twos. But anyway, thanks for watching. That was our season. Now we've got Louis Van Haas Bordeaux. And I haven't had a look at the schedule actually. That's with the friendlies went off. If you really want to look, um, you can have a look. Pause the video now, but I'm not going to go through them. Most of them were just for money, to be honest. And looks like it went quite well, even though we did lose 1 0, like at nearly every preseason game we played. Except for the big sides like PSG and Man United. But to get Man United, Tottenham, Arsenal, AC Milan, PSG, and Athletic Madrid in a preseason is pretty good on my hand, even if we did get about 10,000. <laughs> people come in how do we get more play people come to sporting than like our most one was Tottenham I mean really of all the clubs there Tottenham was our most attendance was it no it was Tottenham then May United then Tottenham but seriously anyway been rambling on for a bit too long thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next episode for the first games of the season against Bordeaux and Montpellier.